Our reporter Caroline Faraday, who is based in LA now, joins us directly from Sunset Boulevard <laughs> itself. And Caroline, uh, it's been quite a night for the southeast, hasn't it? Absolutely. I mean, the, the southeast was represented both on screen and behind the scenes at last night's Oscar ceremony. It took place here in Hollywood. And yes, there was a mixture of surprise wins and some disappointments. Every day in life is beautiful. Every day. It's beautiful. It's a 39-minute documentary about the world's oldest Holocaust survivor, Alice Hurt's summer. When we can play, it can't be so terrible. For Eastbourne's Nicholas Reed, it was the end of an extraordinary journey when he collected his Oscar for the film that he made with his sister Pip from Pevensey Bay. When we finished the film, all we wanted to do was have as many people see it as possible, and then the little film became a bigger film. And so the fact that now, hopefully, 100 million people at least heard of this lady Alice on our film, the lady number six, she changed all our life, and I'm hoping if people see the movie, it'll just change their life a little bit for the better as well. I know this woman. She had a baby when she was a teenager. She's kept it secret for 50 years. You're talking about the human interest story, and that's... I don't do those. Disappointment, however, for Brighton Steve Coogan, whose film Philomena scored four nominations, but no wins. It was a good evening. It was great, you know, great entertainment. Lots of very talented people. Um, a uh, bit disappointed Philomena didn't uh, get anything, but you know, we got four nominations. It was way beyond what we ever expected. I had a hip replacement last year, Martin. Titanium, so it won't rust. Otherwise, I'd have to oil you like the Tin Man. Is that right? The real oh, no. Philomena was at the ceremony. The actress who plays her, Judy Dench, who lives near Lingfield in Surrey, was nominated for her role, but was away filming in India, so wasn't there to see Kate Blanchett beat her to the Oscar. Another Southeast winner that we should mention, who was part of the team from Framestore, who won for the visual effects, is a guy called Scott Dawkins. He's from Whitstable. Um, he actually studied at the University of Creative Arts in Rochester, where he did a degree in CG arts and animation. He was part of that team um, who scooped for all those visual effects uh, awards, and, and that film Gravity was actually made in the UK anyway. Now, um, after the ceremony, I went to the big party of the night, which is the Harvey Weinstein party, where I met up with Steve Coogan. Obviously, he was disappointed pointed uh, from not winning anything from Philomena but he was out enjoying himself and um, I even managed to take a selfie with him so you know selfies were the order of the Oscars ceremony so uh, we had a really nice chat and it's just a, a film and, and the fact that he's even been nominated has taken him to another level really in terms of Hollywood you know we know him for, for Alan Partridge and suddenly he's known as a, as a producer writer and director so it's been good for him even without a win. Fantastic Caroline thank you very much.